Hey, this is Kenneth, and today I want to talk about wireless charging or QI charging or key charging, I guess. Um, so this is this is one of these wireless charging mats. This one came free from some conference, um, and so these are normally used for you know charging your cell phone. You'd put your cell phone on that and it would charge. Except I don't actually have any cell phones that wirelessly charge, and so you know I've been getting these free charging mats, and they've been kind of useless to me. But it actually is relatively easy to build wireless charging into projects. Um, if you go on eBay, you can get these little QI receivers, right? And so, so how how QI works is that the the charging mat or transmitter has a air coil in it that it puts off RF at about 140 kilohertz. And then the receiver board also has another air coil. And so by laying them on top of each other, um, you actually form a transformer between the coil and the mat and the coil in your phone or whatever other device you're charging. Um, QI is the concept that um, there's a controller here that senses the energy coming from the mat and uh, actually feeds information back to it to negotiate what power level and to whether to adjust the frequency up or down to best resonate it um, for the most effective energy transfer from the mat to the coil because um, you know two random coils near each other actually forms a really inefficient transformer otherwise. Um, and so you can get these modules on eBay um, for a few dollars. And so the, the, the kit comes with just the, this all soldered together. It doesn't come with the LED as I, I added an LED on it. Um, plus a piece of this ferric magnet material. Um, and we'll, we'll get to that later. Um, but the main thing is, so we can take this coil and if I, whoop, come on. If I lay it on the mat, you should be able to see, really? Yeah, there we go. The LED lights up, right? And so that's, that's a, just a function of when the QI uh, receiver wakes up, it receives power. Um, and you can see it's, it's kind of touchy, and I think that's mostly just because this, this mat that I'm using is awful. Um, and it, it isn't designed, like QI really doesn't need to be a consistent energy transfer because the concept is you would be using this to charge a battery, right? And so you would be using one of these like lithium ion charge controller boards like this. This one has, you know, a uh, power in either over USB-C or as two pins, um, two battery terminals and then two load terminals. Um, and so you would just take these two wires here and solder them there and there, and then you could charge a lithium ion battery in whatever your project is. Um, but getting back to this, um, this is a piece of magnetic material um, that is meant to go behind the coil. Um, and that's because a air core inductor like this is actually really inefficient, ineffective, low inductance. And so, and that's, and that's why like on transformers and stuff, you'll see like an iron core or like a piece of ferrite toroid um, in your winding is because if you put magnetic material in the magnetic field of a coil, it makes it a higher inductance and that improves the efficiency of energy transfer. And so um, we can actually kind of see that by the fact that if I start lifting this up, you can see the LED goes out about there. All right, so we're about a centimeter off the board. Um, but if I lay this piece of ferrite material on here and we get it to negotiate again, um, we can actually go quite a bit higher as I'm about a centimeter and a half, two centimeters. 
before it, it drops out. Um, obviously, if we put this material on the wrong side, um, it's going to be difficult to get it to even light up at all. And that's because um, this material is trapping the magnetic field and is kind of isolating this, this coil from the transmitter, where if we remove it, um, it starts working again, right? And so building this into a project, I think it would actually be pretty easy because all you have to do, um, well, not all you have to do, I mean, you have to do a lot more than that, but you would, you would put this on the, you know, the inner surface of your enclosure and then this comes with a adhesive backing, you would just stick this on top of the coil um, on the, you know, towards the inside of your project so that then you could take your project and just drop it on one of these mats and it would start charging. Um, so yeah, I, I thought this was kind of neat. I mean, for a few dollars and um, these wireless charging mats that I've been collecting because, um, you know, they're a piece of free conference swag or, you know, if you have a nicer one, which would probably be even more pleasant to work with, but I figured that would be interesting to someone. Um, and so, yeah, let me, let me know if you actually build any, you know, interesting handheld gadgets that aren't just phones that use QI charging, because I think it's a pretty neat technology and I, I miss having a phone that used it as it was really convenient to not have to worry about how many mating cycles my phone's USB port got as I would, you know, just every time I went to my desk, I'd just drop it on my, drop it on, um, my charger. But for other projects, it kind of, it, I could see this being really handy for projects where you then don't need to worry about connectors, right? Some little like ESP32 project or something where all of a sudden, like you don't even need to have a, con a, a charging adapter on it. You just have it be entirely wireless. So thanks for watching. I hope that you found this interesting or useful um, and I will Look f I look forward to hearing about any awesome products you have, and I will talk to you next time.